and welcome back to this beautiful renovation here in Rhode Island. I am so excited to give you a tour of this kitchen and pantry. I hope that you had the opportunity to see our previous videos. We got to go over the office, the bar, the wine display, and all of the bathrooms that we did here. But of course, we saved the best for last. It's the shining star of this renovation, and of course, that is the kitchen and pantry. But of course, before I continue, you, please make sure to like and subscribe and come on in. I can't wait to give you a tour. Entertaining was extremely important to the client. So what we did was we gave him a 12 foot island that was able to accommodate island seating as well as beautiful storage at the end that is accented in our beautiful bronze glass with interior lighting. We also wanted to make this the full appliance wall, but as you can see, it's completely hidden. So we wanted to have it feel like a kitchen, but but not be a kitchen. We decided to use the use of custom panels and pocket doors to hide every appliance. We also did a full wall here with two sinks, two dishwashers, and hidden behind this wall is the pantry. I'm so excited to show you guys this side of the kitchen. We call this our working side of the kitchen. We obviously have two sinks. We also have two dishwashers, and this holds all of the components of the kitchen. So we have our trash system, our water, water filtration, obviously our dishwashers, which I said to you guys. And this area is really where you can prep, work, and still have the company enjoying themselves without bringing everything over to them. We also accented it with our handleless generation. As you can tell, we have our beautiful stainless steel channel, which allows each cabinet to open with ease and without any hardware on the front. We decided to do a beautiful silky matte white finish that's paired with this awesome quartz counter top and this of course is Franke. So this is a Franke crystal faucet that we matched with the crystal sink. We decided to do matching faucets. We wanted to keep the home somewhat consistent as uh, I would say symmetry and more of a calming uh, environment was very important to the client and when you match things and pair things it creates an overall environment that allows the senses to become at ease. So that was very important in designing the space. We also have this beautiful 48 inch sink base. We did a 36 inch sink and we also have our mini faucet here, which is from Franke as well. It's our filtration faucet, which I absolutely love. It's great when you want that cold, cold water filtered, easy accessibility. Moving along, we did, of course, we have to have our Miele dishwasher, as you can tell, very useful and easy to open. Next to that, we got to add in my favorite, the Amanda cabinet. Release and storage below. And our second dishwasher is actually located at the very end, and this is an 18 inch dishwasher. A lot of people think that you could only have 24 inch dishwashers, Mila makes an 18 inch dishwasher that is great for when you have company. And we have this tucked away right here. We actually have it on so you can see the steam coming out, which is kind of cool. We're gonna close that right back up and let that start again. This wall became what we call the working section. Moving along, this is what we call more of the hidden cooking slash pantry section. The client wanted an area where you could still cook, but it was hidden from the rest of everyone who was in the household. So if you have company or anyone over, this is a great option to cook behind here and no one will really see what's going on. So as you can see here, we did three Mila uh, cooktops. We have our gas cooktop, we have the grill, and we actually also have a top and yanke. Of course, we needed to have a hood built into this section to allow adequate ventilation. We also wanted to maximize the storage in this section. So this area is just filled with storage. Nothing else was utilized except for this section and the rest we just absolutely maximized the storage. We wanted to keep it in a light bright color so we decided to mirror the other side of the wall and keep it in the white mat. Everything of course is handleless so everything is pushed to open or on our beautiful channel system. 
We decided to do the stainless steel, again to mirror the other side and keep it consistent with the rest of the home. And of course, keeping consistent with the rest of the home, lighting was an absolute must for this space, especially because it's hidden behind everything else. We wanted to make sure that we had a ton of LED lighting built into it. So as you can see, we have our beautiful routed lighting uh, into the base of the cabinets. Our hood absolutely illuminates at night to be able to see whatever you're cooking. And I just think it allows a very friendly, comfortable, and accessible working environment. And up next is probably my most favorite part of this kitchen. I can't wait to show you guys. It is the main feature, the main wow factor of this house. And this is where we hid all of the appliances. Everything is so easily accessible. So come on in, let me show you. And now to our most Favorite feature of the kitchen, our beautiful hidden appliance wall, of course accompanied with our bronze tinted glass and LED lighting. As I said, everything is hidden. So we definitely used a lot of different opening systems along this wall, in particular one is called the server drive. So as you can see, I'm gonna push on this door right here. It's gonna pop open and hidden behind that is our freezer. Next to that, we have our beautiful fridge, also on a server drive. We did floor to ceiling glass, which you might remember we also mirrored in the bar area as well as the office. So consistency in this home renovation was really important. It also creates a very calming and cohesive environment and that was very important to the client. You will also notice this wood tone is seen throughout all of the different rooms. And that was consistent, I would say, from day one of talking to him. He really wanted to keep this very rich, warm wood tone throughout, and we really were able to accomplish this. Moving along, we have our beautiful pocket doors. Behind these pocket doors, we have a full set of working appliances. We have our beautiful Mila coffee system. It can make everything from a simple coffee to a latte to a cappuccino. Below that, we have our 24 inch convection oven. Beside that, we have our combi steamer. If you guys have gotten to check out any of our previous videos, definitely check out our videos on combi steamers. They are probably our most favorite appliance that Mila makes. They are so versatile. They can do everything from baking a cake to I would say sous vide cooking to dehydration and beyond. It is an absolute gem of an appliance. Please, please, please check out those videos. And then below that, you always need a very simple, of course, microwave and speed oven, and then our beautiful warming drawer. We decided to do additional storage below all of these appliances. They are 48 inches wide and they just offer completely flexible versatility in terms of storage solutions. Obviously you can see our client has opted to put all of his espresso cups in or any other odds and ends that you might have. Uh, what you need while using these appliances and below that we have actually an additional storage below. This is a full functioning storage cubby and above that is additional storage as well. Moving along, we have our most important feature of any good kitchen design and that is our pantry solutions. We have two 24 inch pantry solutions beautifully accompanied with our interior pullouts with the black tinted glass, all soft closing, handleless generation at the 45 degree angle. When you close them, Everything is completely hidden away and it just completes this wall of complete versatility and functionality and I can't wait to show you the island. So come on over. This island is truly the heart of this home. We can definitely see people gathering around this space, enjoying themselves. Uh, entertaining, having family gatherings. We wanted to make it feel cozy yet expansive, of course functional and practical for everyday use. We wanted to add a little bit of touch to it that was a bit different than what we have in the rest of the space, which led us to entertain this idea of two tones. So we have a white mat 
paired with our dark wood finish and it creates this kind of asymmetrical look that you kind of see throughout the home. We also did an asymmetrical waterfall on it. So this side has a waterfall, the other side does not. We wanted to of course incorporate seating to allow people to gather and entertain and socialize. Another aspect of the island that was very important was not having any hood. So you can see here, we did a downdraft solution that I will definitely show you. We also have our induction cooktop that has a beautiful stainless steel frame to mirror the stainless steel channel that we have wrapping around the island. On the other side, we decided instead of doing just a simple flat panel door solution, we wanted to keep the glass and the lighting element incorporated in this island. So we did the beautiful bronze glass that mirrors the bronze glass on this side with the LED lighting integrated. Of course, soft closing everywhere and absolutely no handles. Walking around this enormous island, I definitely want to show you what I had mentioned before, which is our awesome bronze tinted glass with interior lighting and he decorated it so beautifully with all his glassware. We have our island seating, which is so important for entertaining. And our most favorite feature of the kitchen, like I mentioned, we did not want to block any view so that you could see this awesome display in back. We did a downdraft. So with one touch of the hand, it lifts up. And it only lifts up when you need it. So the amazing feature of the downdraft is you only need it when you absolutely need it. And when company's here, you can pretty much shut it down. Or in his kitchen, we have that awesome pantry in back. So you can do any cooking for company and keep this area completely for entertaining. With one touch of the hand, it'll shut off and we'll go down again. Well, that's a wrap on this beautiful home renovation here in Rhode Island. I hope you guys have gotten to see all five episodes that we did. A lot of work, a lot of heart, a lot of passion went into this project, and I hope that you got to enjoy it as much as we got to enjoy uh, doing this and showing you what we created. So, of course, as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will definitely see you next time. Bye. Thank you.